G'day, I'm Ray Tomes from New Zealand. Uh, in the 1920s, a Russian by the name of Nikolai Kondratiev uh, came up with the idea that there were cycles of 54 years uh, in the prices of various commodities. Uh, and he drew graphs showing about 300 years of that. For that time. Subsequently, um, the American Edward Dewey using data from another Russian, Chazevsky, have found that there, this cycle exists in other things than just prices. Uh, they found a 53-year cycle in battles, in wars ranging over a 2005 period. Uh, sometimes analysis of climate also shows a period of about that range. The um, economist Schumpeter suggested that it was caused by cycles and innovation. And although I wouldn't say that that's been exactly accepted, no one ever seems to have offered a real reason for the cause of these cycles, so uh, that's what I'm planning to do today. Uh, and I suggest that the cause of this cycle lies in human demographics. The fact that humans respond to uh, the existence of depressions and booms by having uh, less children in a depression and more children in a boom. The result of that is that uh, about a generation later, when those children reach adulthood, the, they require, uh, when there's more children coming into that age group, they require more jobs, more houses, these days more cars and all sorts of more other things uh, that would normally be required at that time. So if there was a baby boom, we get a bigger proportion of people hitting that age group. So, for example, the last baby boom was called the post-war baby boom. It was in the 1950s. The result of that was in the 1970s, we had a very large number of people reaching jobs, wanting houses, um, and so on. Now, the result of that is you can't build the houses fast enough to keep up. You can't provide the job fast enough to keep up. So therefore, we had a huge increases in house prices and we also had huge unemployment in that period. Now the, the, um, that meant that the birth rate went down because uh, people don't have a lot of children when they see that they're struggling for jobs and houses and so on. So a lower birth rate in the 70s and in the 80s uh, now come to the next generation and those people are, are reaching adult now. now uh, are generally from two child families rather than the sort of typical five child families of the post-war. That means that there's a smaller number of people wanting jobs, there's a smaller number of people wanting houses. In general, there's been uh, more stability in both of those areas uh, for some time. If we go back to the previous cycle, in the 1930s there was a major depression and the birth rate went very low. Uh, the result of that was that uh, Good, good economic conditions came about for the first time in a long time and through the 50s and early 60s there was great growth in the economy. The result of that was uh, people said things are very good and they had more children and the birth rate went up again. So uh, to explain that a little further it's necessary to understand a little bit about the economics of uh, these large capital items like houses and jobs. If you take a typical house, it's it's good for a hundred years use. Uh, so that means that if we have a stable population, we only have to replace one percent of our housing stock each year. However, if through migration or through birth rate, we have a one percent increase in a year uh, in the population, that means that, um, oh dear, the phone's going, okay.